Sup WordPress nerds, in today's video we're going to be going over the four starter themes that I have kind of gravitated towards over the years. Uh, this is not a comprehensive list, nor is this one that's going to be like, going to fit every single need that you possibly have, but I just wanted to show you the ones that I've typically used. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, first and foremost is underscores. A lot of you probably already know what underscores is. It's just a starter theme that's actually built by Automatic. So everything's kept up to date in a pretty good way. Um, I think that the theme itself could get a little bit more like cutting or like bleeding edge of some of this stuff. But ultimately it's got a lot of like the defaults that you're gonna kind of want in there. Like, I mean, if we scroll down here to the bottom, it has like the PHP coding standards. It compiles your SAS for you. It doesn't do anything for JavaScript other than lint it, but hey, you can have like a watcher that does your SAS and all that kind of stuff. If you're just kind of doing something that is not like super JavaScript intensive, or you can kind of just you know, get away with just some ES6 kind of stuff. You don't need to like throw in all these extra libraries and whatnot um, and have it like compile with Webpack or anything like that. Then it's a pretty darn good like starter theme. And so it's one that I recommend a lot to people who are just like, I just need a starter theme. It's like the de facto one that I send people to. Next up is Sage. Sage, if you haven't heard of it, is if you're like, you know, serious business, this WordPress site needs to like, you know, do a lot of heavy lifting for me. It's going to be for very complex sites. So the nice things about uh, Sage, I would say, is number one is that it like lets you use all sorts of like Laravel centric pa packages. So it has a thing called Acorn in it that allows you to use like Laravel packages, and it also has let's as like out of the box uses like Laravel Blade for like all of your templating stuff. So if you're in like that PHP Laravel world, like this is going to be the one that you want to like throw in uh, into the mix as far as like what possible starter themes you want to use now it has also like everything that comes around sage which is really nice so roots the the group that makes make sage also does things like trellis and bedrock and all those other things too so like being able to like deploy this and kind of have the um, ability to kind of use like composer to like install all of your plugins like if you're like a developer who needs that type of control to like hard version things and to have a more secure setup and you know using composer and all that kind of stuff like sage is really really good for that and like deployment with trellis is super awesome it doesn't deploy everywhere um but you can deploy it on like your own custom servers or even like kinsta you can't do it on like siteground or anything like that because they don't let you change like the 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 dock route but there's a lot of hosting companies that will allow you to do it. And if you have, you know, Trellis and, and Sage kind of working together and all that, oh man, it's it's pretty sweet. So it's a bit overkill if you're doing anything else besides like a pretty intensive site. Um, if you're just doing kind of like a landing page for a friend or if you're doing, you know, just kind of like brochure type of sites, I would not recommend this guy. But if you're doing something like a lot more complex, this is for sure. And it even has like Tailwind and stuff like that kind of out of the box. So you don't have to like, set up any of that like it has all the things that you would need for like a little bit more of a complex site so generate press this is one that i hardly ever gravitate towards but have gravitated towards it a couple of times but this is just like one of those ones where you, if you don't want to do a lot of the stuff that you normally do i guess it's kind of the point of a starter theme is like you don't want to have to like rebuild the menus you don't want to rebuild out like the sidebar or like some customizer stuff like if that's the kind of thing that you find yourself like repeating a lot and it does not it doesn't really like and you don't find yourself running into a lot of variations you could kind of like take something like generate press or maybe even the pro version if you like are really like fine with like out of the box kind of style websites that just need to make like minor customizations to generate press i think it does a pretty good job of that um so I mean the pro version does cost money, uh, but the I mean the default version gets you a pretty good setup. Like making mobile menus and all that kind of stuff is just kind of a real pain in the butt. So I mean having this kind of thing in your back pocket is pretty great. Um, and yeah, that's it. I mean check out Generate Press if like that's something that you're interested in. I felt like I kind of had to get something in here that's a little bit more like beginner friendly um so if you're not like interested in doing like everything yourself and having all the bells and whistles of like other starter themes like generate press is probably the one that i would recommend and they do a pretty good job with like their performance and all that kind of stuff too so you don't really have to worry about installing like 
I don't know, gosh, like all those like theme forest themes that are just like massive and just like you have to like you're constantly swimming upstream to make them fast. Um, this one is, is pretty darn good out of the box. Now, the fourth one, uh, surprise bonus here, is a blank theme. Hey, why not? Like, I think that's a really good way to start out your project is all you really need is a style.css and an index.php and you're off to the races. That's one thing that I really like to do. That's what I usually find myself doing. All my stuff that I typically do is super hyper custom to the to the to the team that I'm working on. And so like anything outside of this, I would end up like deleting more than I would than I would it would be it would take more time to end up deleting all the things that I need to than just like building those things out myself. The only like exception to that would be Sage, I would say. Like I could absolutely use Sage and save a lot of time. But I just haven't had a project recently that really called for something that complex that wouldn't have me reverse a lot of it. So anyway, taking a blank theme is as is going to teach you a lot about WordPress if you don't already know a lot about it because you can add things and you can kind of see how things work like when you add category.php or functions.php and like you kind of like coming you're coming to a lot of like conclusions yourself as you are building out this theme and you're only adding in what you need so i mean it's as fast as humanly possible um to just build this out bit by bit so anyway i suggest like don't always jump into a starter theme taking your own time and to build out your own maybe like that would be one that uh, I, I think kind of gets slept on. So give that a try as well. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, links to all of the uh, starter themes that I suggested, minus this one, are in the description. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.